Hi, my name is Philip Gutierrez and I'm with Kensington. I'm really excited today to talk to you about our very new SD5300T Thunderbolt 3 docking station with SD card reader. So you're probably wondering, what does Thunderbolt 3 even mean? So the really cool thing about this technology, it's just allowing you to do speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. So to give you an idea of what that even means, it's downloading a 4K video in up to 30 seconds. So this docking station that we're gonna show you now actually is compatible with all Thunderbolt 3 host laptops, just like this MacBook Pro here. Let's talk more about what you can do with this really cool docking station. So as you can see on the left here, we have a dual monitor setup. So we have dual 4K at 60 Hertz, but if you're that extra user that really wants a whole lot more with their monitor, you could do a single 5K if you have a 5K monitor as well. So as we get into our SD5300 docking station, we really want to start going into what we have on the back side of the dock. So. As you can see from right to left, uh, the very first port that you're going to see here is our power cord port for your power supply. This obviously comes with the docking station to power up the dock. Next port that you're going to see here is our video port. This is an HDMI port. Specifically, you'll see an HDMI cable going to one of the external monitors. One key note is if you don't have an HDMI cable, feel free to utilize one of our Kensington video cables. We do have an HDMI 2.0 cable um, to help you for your 4K needs. The third port here, as you're going to see, is actually our most important port because this is the host Thunderbolt 3 port that will connect your laptop to the docking station. So again, this cable here actually comes with the docking station, so please make sure you use the one that is provided with you in your, in your package for your uh, SD5300 docking station. Next port, as you'll see here, is gonna be our secondary video. The nice thing is we actually include this with the docking station, and it's actually a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Again, most of the times this is not included, so we do include this with the docking station, which would allow you to do is connect a secondary uh, external monitor through just an HDMI cable. Next port, as you'll see here, is our Ethernet port. So this is for your RJ45 cable for connected internet use. Uh, one gigabit of speed there for um, anything related to networking. And then last but certainly not least is our three USB ports. These are all three of them will actually be 3.1 Gen 1 ports. As you can see here, we have thumb drives, but of course you can use really anything for your possible peripheral needs, whether it's a printer, whether it's an external hard drive, um, a wireless dongle for your keyboard, mouse, etc. You really could use whatever you possibly need uh, to soup up your productivity needs. Now that we've talked about the back of the docking station, let's talk about the front. This is where a lot of the fun stuff's going on. So let's start from the left here. You're going to see our LED indicators. So the first you're going to see green, which shows that the docking station is powered and ready to rock and roll. Moving to the second LED indicator, you're going to see that it's blue. That shows that there's a host device being connected to the docking station. So having both LED indicators on shows that this docking station is fully functional and your ecosystem is ready for, for you to be productive. So now moving down to the line, we're getting to some more of the fun ports. So our SD 3.0 card reader, this is a great port that I love, especially because I'm a photographer and I love being able to come back and plug in my SD card reader after a long day of shots and being able to quickly look at all the photos that I've taken for the day. A lot of laptops these days are actually taking out SD card readers. So the fact that this SD 5300 has that port, it is a major plus and a, a huge advantage for my lifestyle. Moving on to the next two USB ports we have, these are both two USB 3.1 Gen and one so now you have a total of the three in the back and two in the front so now you have five USB ports in total as you can see there's actually one connected right now with my iPhone here the reason why is this port specifically the one closest to the SD card reader that is going to be the one that provides you 2.1 amps of charging so you can charge your phone um, you can charge some other peripherals, potentially even a tablet as well. You can now use this specific port here to do your charging. The additional one to the right is also going to be used for similar to the ones that we use in the back. So USB thumb drives, external hard drives, etc. cetera, for, for your everyday use. And then last but certainly not least, we are going to have our audio jack. So right, instead of having to connect your sweet new headphones into your laptop, you can now connect it to this docking station so that you do not have any type of peripherals being connected to your laptop directly. So again, this docking station is really providing you everything you really need to be productive in your day and your job and your lifestyle. To even further add some of the other extras that this docking station has is to have two lock slots on the side here. So the one on the bottom is our larger T-bar lock slot. And then the top one is our smaller nano lock slot. To show you how it all works is today we have a MicroSaver 2.0 lock, which is sold separately from the docking station today. But simply how it works is you grab your lock here 
insert it into the lock slot, twist your key, release, and you now have a secure SD5300 docking station. So if you flip our SD5300 Thunderbolt 3 docking station on its backside, you're actually going to notice two small little holes there. And why we have those is it's going to work with our VESA mount that you can see here. This is sold separately from the docking station today, but how it works is that we will provide you with two little screws that allow you to screw the mount onto the docking station. And what that will now allow you to do is mount this entire docking station behind a monitor. So now at this point, you're looking at a complete clutter-free zone on your desk environment. If I could leave you with two thoughts, the big thing is one, like I said earlier, make sure that by all means you use this Thunderbolt 3 host cable that comes with your docking station today that is very important. And then number two, before you consider buying this Kensington Thunderbolt 3 docking station, please make sure that you check that your host laptop supports Thunderbolt 3 like this MacBook Pro here. If you have a USB-C laptop, you know USB-C has an amazing capability to charge your laptop, to connect extra displays, and to connect a whole host of USB and other devices, all via that one USB-C cable. This is the pluggable USB-C docking station, and it provides all of that functionality. It charges your laptop, uh, which is really exciting. You can reuse your power adapter as a travel or a spare adapter. On the front, it has three USB 3 ports, and it has audio ports for headset and microphone. On the back, you have two more USB ports, and you have the HDMI port for connecting that extra monitor, and you have a network port for connecting to a wired network, which is faster than wireless. And of course, you have the power into the docking station, which is ultimately what's going to charge your laptop. So what laptops is the pluggable USB-C docking station compatible with? Well, here you see a Lenovo ThinkPad and the extra display is working. It's charging the ThinkPad and all of the devices that I would connect from the dock are working. So will this work with a MacBook? This is the original MacBook. It just has a single USB-C port. It's not Thunderbolt 3 uh, capable. And yes, uh, the display pops up. It's charging the MacBook, and any devices that I connect off of the dock are going to work on the, on the MacBook here. So pretty exciting that I'm able to use the exact same docking station to go from Windows to Mac, and it both works. So now, will this also work on one of the newest uh, MacBook laptops, the MacBook Pro, um, that's also Thunderbolt 3 capable? USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 share the same port. Thunderbolt 3 has more functionality. But will this USB-C docking station work on that? Let's find out. So I'm going to unplug this. So here we have the 2019 MacBook Pro that actually has four USB-C ports, two on each side. Uh, and they're Thunderbolt 3 capable. And yes, this USB-C docking station works on this laptop also, charging it, connecting an extra HDMI display, and con connecting a whole host of devices. So pretty exciting. Windows works. All of the uh, MacBook USB-C laptops work. Will a Chromebook work? Let's find out. 
So here we have an HP Chromebook. So not running Mac, not running Windows, actually running a third completely different operating system. And yes, we get the extra display. The HP Chromebook is charging and any of the same USB devices connected off of the dock, which work with Chrome OS, are gonna work on this laptop also. So pretty amazing demonstration of USB-C capabilities by having a standard way with a single cable of charging the laptop, connecting an extra display, and kind of getting back all the ports and connectivity that you used to have with your laptops. All with a single cable, we can now have thin and light laptops, whether it be Windows, Mac, or Chrome OS, and they'll all work with this pluggable USB-C docking station. Everyone, we would love to recommend you our brand new Thunderbolt 3 Dock UTD01. After connecting the Thunderbolt 3 cable to the host laptop, UTD01 supports maximum 40 gigabits per second data transfer rate and 85 watts power supply. A downstream Thunderbolt 3 port is available for other Thunderbolt 3 devices. Display port supports HD display with maximum 4K resolution. Gigabit port ensures you a more consistent internet experience compared to wireless connection. Four USB 3.0 ports provide data transfer up to 5 gigabits per second and enough ports for devices. SD and micro SD card slots support capacity up to 2 TB. Four pole audio jack works for both headset and microphone. All in all, multiple devices can be applied to this dock. In the meantime, you can also enjoy your work efficiently with a clean and well-organized workspace. How am I doing this? I've got three displays all connected up to this one Windows laptop in one big extended desktop. So I can use one screen for one app, another screen for another, multitask. I'm doing it with the pluggable USB-C triple display docking station. With a single cable back to a USB-C Windows laptop, I get three HDMI ports on the dock for three displays. I'm charging the laptop, so you don't even need your power adapter. You can use that as a spare. And, you know, your laptop has probably gotten thinner and lighter with USB-C, but you've lost all the connectivity, all the ports to connect all your older devices, your network cable. This gets all of them back. USB ports, there's six of them. Graphics ports, network port, audio port, all of it off a single laptop docking station. And when you're ready to go, Again, it's just a single cable back to your laptop. Unplug and go, come back, plug back in, and your great desktop is back. The pluggable USB-C laptop docking station.